This segment is sponsored by Columbus Makes Art. Well, since the 2020 Columbus Arts Festival has been canceled, you can still shop, listen, and create all kinds of art with chalk art challenge in fact so cool joe sam has the news on how one artist is contributing to the columbus arts fest in place 2020 take a look the coronavirus has put a stop to many events around the city but one thing it's not stopping is the columbus arts festival they're going virtual this year and they're calling it columbus art festival in place they're asking people to help support artists by checking out their paintings, ceramics, jewelry, and so much more. You'll even be able to check out some local musicians and take part in the Chalk Art Challenge. And that's something that you can do with your kids from home. And here to talk with us more about art is mixed media collage artist Kate Morgan. How are you? Good, good. I'm hanging in there. So. We are all hanging yeah. there and helping <laughs> us keep hanging in is this beautiful artwork. Yes. Talking out about mixed media collage art. Tell people what that is. So mixed media is a combination of at least two traditional. So if it's not just drawing, just painting, just sculpture, it's got to be at least two of those things combined. And so I combine drawing, painting and collage. Mm. So I'll do drawing and painting on so I've got some, some finished pieces here, but she's cut out, you know. Um, she's ready to go. She's ready to go. <laughs> and then I will, I'll glue her down and I'll mix her with a bunch of antique papers. And then I'll do watercolor and colored pencil for shading on top of it. So it's not really just painting. It's not really just collage. It's got to be multiple things. And for people who are interested in coming to check out your work yes. at the Columbus Makes Art Festival, mm -hmm. let's talk all about that there and how are you going to be participating in this actual festival in place because this is the first time they're doing it virtually. It's yeah, it's it's a little raw um, because because Columbus is so fun for their festival. So it's going to be hard. I'm a little crushed, but I am taking appointments for myself. Um, and then I've also, uh, in honor of the hometown, uh, I'm doing a 20% off sale I'm, uh, on my Etsy and website, and then just answering a bunch of questions, probably gonna put a bunch of fun stuff on, on social media and hope that everybody Homes. Yeah, everybody <laughs> will because we see thousands of people always come out and check out this festival. Yeah. So we know that they're going to continue to support now that it's online and actually talking about that. Yeah. How has it been working with the festival and, and being an artist during these trying times? We see a lot of people out and about in the short north painting and getting those murals done, but we also see how much has affected them during the coronavirus. How have you been dealing during this entire time? It's really huge for me because I'm 100% self-employed doing this. And I usually, last year I did 30 shows. So for 30 weekends out of 52, I was driving to another city, setting my tents up, working, putting my stuff up. And I haven't been able to do that at all. So I usually start in April, it's a huge hit. Um, and it's, it's a little different um, because there's not the need to, you know, if people aren't buying, you don't have to replace it. So mm. it's been very difficult um, and, you know, financially. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully Everybody this is loves going, an income. <laughs> yes, <laughs> who doesn't? Hopefully this is going to help everyone out. So yes. when we speak of that, where can people go to find out more information about you and your art? So I have a couple different options. Uh, the main one is my website, which is katemorganimagedesign.com. <laughs> um, and then I also have uh, work on Etsy. So you can go to etsy.com slash shop slash KMID. And also uh, Chrome Edge studios. I, I share a studio there and I have things that are up on the wall. And actually you could walk by that. I'll give you a little map. Yeah, perfect <laughs> to get the right location. If you walk around Chrome Edge, you can <laughs> look in the windows and you'll see my you'll see some of my artwork. So if you're an art lover or someone that's interested in art, you can come and check out Miss Kate Morgan and so many like her around the country at this year's Columbus Arts Festival in place, a virtual online event happening this weekend.